Hello guys, I'm Radek from Gumbly and today I will tell you how to secure your application with Secure Gateway. If you are new in the channel, remember about subscribe, about thumbs up and let's go! First, we should start from the what is Secure Gateway. It's a software that works a bit, let's say, as a gateway that is using your DNS to forward traffic and analyze. It's using the network traffic analysis method, so all of the traffic that is coming to your application is going through the Secure Gateway. So, in the reality, in shorter words, it works like we have the security layer that is analyzing and filtering all of the traffic that can hit our servers or our application. If something is wrong with the traffic, the secure gateway is cutting that traffic and logging. There is an issue that you can check in admin panel later. All of the traffic that is clear, that is not suspicious, without malware, without viruses, can go to your servers. But what is the most important, only you, of course, as an owner, and Security Gateway know the real IP of your servers. So it doesn't work like everybody can like take IP of your server just by checking your application. It's very, very strong additional security layer. Now, I would like to show you, in practice, how the security gateway can filter your traffic, create logs, show you all of the stuff in the dashboard that you can verify for later, how you can monitor your application in real time, and check the hackers' attacks and any suspicious traffic. Let's start! First of all, we need to install the ALSCO application. We will use it for two-factor authentication. Now let's try to access the admin dashboard. As you can see, the secure gateway used the security layer as two-factor authentication, so we cannot access it now. To get the code, we need to log into application, submit our phone number, and next we will get the code that we can use. As you can see, it works. But we have one more security layer here, that is the IP list. It means we need the, our IP to be whitelisted to be able to access our admin panel. To whitelist our IPI, we need to go into the All School support. Next, we need to login and go into the whitelisting drop-down. Here, we need to take IPI of the computer we try to access our admin panel, copy the IP range and submit. Let's try if it works. Voila! Now we can access our admin panel. Let's go into some useful features that I would like to show you. Here, the first one I would like to show you is the real-time high-risk traffic monitoring. It's the monitoring where you can see all of the logs, what is happening in our application in real-time. The next one is like search of our traffic inside the secure gateway. To this feature, we will come back in a second. This one is the amount of all of the calls and the requests in our network. Now, let's try 
to do some attacks to see how Secure Gateway works. Attack is blocked. Let's try another type of attack. The same stuff. One more. Still blocked. And let's go through the URL injection. The same. As you can see now in real time high risk traffic monitoring, there is a lot more critical locks with our IP. One more thing that I would like to show you here is to try to upload the malicious file. First of all, we will try to upload the normal file. It's just an image as you can see. Everything is fine. So now let's try to modify image and add some malicious code. We'll just add simple PHP code here. Let's check if it's still the same image. It looks the same just with malicious code. And let's try to upload it. We will see what happens. As you can see, file contained the virus and was deleted. Now let's move into the secure gateway so you will be able to see what happens if we will try to look for our logs. First we need to specify our API that we are looking for. Let's set up columns and see. As you can see here we have list of our requests from our IP with the security risk level, if they are critical or just normal, with all of the description, what happens, so we have full overview. For today, that's all. In the next episode I will show you how to secure cPanel and in the next episode I will show you how to secure your emails. Thanks for watching! Thanks for watching the video to the end! I hope now you understand how Security Gateway works and how it can help you with security of your applications. Thanks for watching again, don't forget about subscribing and about thumbs up. Let's see you in the next videos, bye!